UFO reported by two separate pilots while they were flying over Arizona. While flying at over 30,000 feet in the air over Arizona, two airline pilots claim an unidentified flying object flew over top their planes. CBS Denver reports that both planes reported the sighting. The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, had also released a recording of the radio broadcast from the Out of This World incident. According to the radio logs, two separate pilots of a Learjet operated by Phoenix Air and an American Airlines flight saw the object flying in the opposite direction of their planes uh, a few years ago, February 24th. In a copy of the conversation in the, uh, with the Albuquerque Center Air Traffic Control, the Phoenix Air pilot makes the first sighting of the strange object at around 3.30 p.m. local time. Quote, was anybody above us that passed us like 30 seconds ago? End quote. The pilot asked in a tape released to the Phoenix New Times. The answer from the FAA was negative. Were the Learjet's close encounter still on their minds? The FAA in Albuquerque alerts American Airlines Flight 1095 to keep an eye out for the object in the sky as they flew towards San Diego. Less than a minute after the warning, Flight 1095, the American Airlines flight, the pilot's radios in, uh, the, in that his plane was just passed by a UFO. The pilot reported, yeah, something just passed over us. I don't know what it was, but it was at least two, 3,000 feet above us. Yeah, it passed right over the top of us, he said. The pilots could not determine if the unidentified object was hovering or actually flying by the American Airlines pilot. But the American Airlines pilot can be heard saying that the UFO had a big reflection, quote unquote, and doubted it was a Google balloon. Quote, other than the uh, brief conversation between two aircraft, the controller was unable to verify that any other aircraft was in the area, end quote. The FAA Lynn Lunsford told the New Times, coincidentally, the UFO sighting took place just 500 miles away from Roswell, New Mexico. Roswell, as we know, is the home to the most famous UFO stories in the U.S. history as flying saucer, as a flying saucer allegedly crashed in the desert there July 4th, 1947. In a statement to KOB-TV in Albuquerque, the FAA said it does not know what the object is either. They said, we don't have any comment beyond what you hear, the statement said. We have a close working relationship with a number of other agencies that safely handle military aircraft and civilian aircraft of all types in that area every day, including high altitude weather balloons, end quote. The radio logs come three months after video capture by U.S. Navy pilots offered an inside look at a secretive government program that investigated UFOs. The little known Pentagon program had a budget of about $22 million dollars According to the civilian intelligence officer who used to run it, most of the sightings it looked at were by U.S. military personnel who have been reporting UFO sightings for decades. And uh, this is the transmission of the uh, two pilots. Uh, let me know if uh, you see anything pass over you here in the next uh, 15 miles. I don't know what it was. It wasn't an airplane, but it was it half of the storm out the direction. It's murder 1095. Yeah, something just passed over. It's uh, like a, don't know what it was, but it's at least two, 3,000 feet above us. Yeah, I passed right over the top of us. So there it goes. Uh, this is Unbended Reality. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.